If you remember back to my last iodine video, I had very little potassium iodide and therefore I didn't have, I couldn't create enough iodine to actually do any cool reactions with. Well, I got some more potassium iodide, 50 whole grams, and I used about half of that and made some a uh, pretty good amount of iodine and I got some really cool reactions. Now for information about iodine, I don't want to just repeat what I said in the last video. So you can just go click on that video if you want information about iodine the element. And then in this video go in this video I got a lot more cool experiments. Alright, so here I'm going to give you slightly more detail as to how to make iodine than in my last video. And as you can see, I now have quite a bit more potassium iodide, and therefore I'm going to be able to get a lot more iodine. So I'm starting with 20.75 grams of potassium iodide, and I did the stoichiometry for this. This is the right amount given the amount of hydrochloric acid and bleach I'll be using. Um, and the next step is just to dissolve it in water, and you want to dissolve it in as little water as possible because iodine actually has a very, very slight solubility in water, um, actually not so slight, so um, it, it will decrease some of your yield um, the more water you use. Um, you can try to boil it out of solution and sometimes it works, but it's, it's not as easy as if you have uh, very little water, so you want to try to dissolve it in as little water as possible. So I'll get back to you when it's all dissolved. Okay, so here is dissolved slightly yellow, and um, that's just from a little bit of hydrochloric acid that already got in there and from other impurities. But I'll be purifying my iodine after I make it, so impurities are totally fine if you are using my method. So now I'm going to add the bulk of the hydrochloric acid, and I'm going to be adding 14.3 grams of the uh, of the 31 percent solution that you can get at the hardware store as muriatic acid um, so if you have a more concentrated solution you could you have to redo the stoichiometry but 14.3 uh, grams if you have hardware store muriatic acid which is just fine for this and what's going on is you have a double displacement reaction that's going on because you have start out with potassium iodide and you're adding hydrochloric acid and because Chlorine is more electronegative than iodine, and sodium is less electronegative than hydrogen. Then the two swap places, and you get potassium chloride, which as you, you, you can see is the white powder on the bottom, because it's got a lower solubility than potassium iodide. And, more importantly, hydroiodic acid, which is going to be how we actually get the iodine. So the next step is going to be adding uh, the bleach which will give us iodine. It's good, it's a, bleach is a strong oxidizer. The active ingredient is sodium hypochlorite, um, NaClO. And so we get, we're going to get um, water, sodium chloride, and iodine, most importantly. So you'll see a really nice color change when I add the bleach. All right, bleach is about to go in. It'll turn nice and dark. There we go. And I'm not actually uh, doing this, the bleach stoichiometrically because I can just see when, when the solution just keeps getting lighter when I add more as opposed to getting darker when I add more. So I'll get to you when I uh, finish doing it and you'll see my uh, purification apparatus. All right, here's my purification apparatus. I've got an alcohol, it's the, basically the equivalent of distillation except with something that sublimates. So I've got um, alcohol lamp heating up a solution of iodine and a bunch of other stuff, and the iodine is the most volatile compound, so it'll sublimate off um, before anything else evaporates. And it'll go up and hit the bottom of this really cold uh, Florence flask with ice water in it and condense to form solid iodine. There's no liquid phase for iodine at this pressure, so that's nice. I don't actually need a full distiller. All right, so this is just a bit later on, and you can see there's some nice purple iodine vapor inside the Erlenmeyer flask, and there's actually a little hunk of solid iodine kind of floating at the surface of the uh, liquid, which I was able to retrieve later on. 
All right, this is even later on, and um, I'm going to now remove the, the top flask. You can see some really nice uh, purple iodine vapor uh, coming from the top of the flask and some iodine crystals on the flask. Okay, here is what it looks, what the iodine looks like when deposited on the bottom of the flask. There are some beautiful crystals on the neck of a beaker. There is some my main yield of iodine. There is uh, some in a jar that I put it in with nice crystal structure. There is my main yield when it was still on the main beaker. There is again another piece. And here are some really nice crystals on on the beak on the edge of the beaker. I tried reacting iodine with magnesium, but um, my iodine wasn't powdered well enough. I didn't have high enough surface area, and my magnesium and magnesium just isn't reactive enough for that to really make a big reaction. What it is cool though is it, the reaction was hot enough to uh, sublimate a lot of iodine and made a really nice purple cloud of vapor, which is why I'm showing you this reaction. Because the magnesium and iodine was kind of a flop, I decided to try sodium and iodine. Sodium is much, much, much more reactive than magnesium, but surprisingly they wouldn't actually react on contact. I had to stir and add some water before any reaction, any real reaction took place. When you watch the reaction, keep your eye out for purple smoke versus brown smoke versus white smoke. White smoke is sodium iodide, purple smoke is pure iodine, and a brown is a mixture. Creation of sodium iodide. There I am, pretty happy that it actually worked. And uh, there's still a nice bead of molten sodium there, so I tried stirring it around a little more. And there we go. You see that when the reaction really happens, you get white smoke. Otherwise, you just, it's just the iodine sublimating, and it's purple.